What the fuck is up, YouTube? How you cool cobras doing this very fine afternoon? Yo. Hey YouTube, I want to lay another controversial video on you that might make you think, okay? Um, this is a Rockstar times 2 energy, oh, 2 times, excuse me, extra caffeine, it's delicious. It tastes like margarita mix, I shit you not, it's really good. Now, I'll talk about equal rights as far as um, sex goes, male to female. Now, for a long, 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 long time, men have been treating women like shit. I think that's just wrong, okay? But it seems like in America we have a history of hating. We enslave black people, take them over to America, make them do all the hard work we don't want to do, and we treat women like shit. And then African Americans get their rights, which is good, really good. And then women and gays get treated like shit. And then the women have their rights, and the gays get treated like shit. Um, I don't think that should matter what color your skin is, what your sexual preference is, or whether you're male or female. I mean, what difference does it make if you have boobs or a penis? Should it defy your rights and pay in work and whatnot? I think it's degrading and not fair. You know, a country that says you have the freedom of speech and the freedom to express yourself and the freedom to this, this, and that, and then turn around and just discriminate against homosexuality and women, it's extremely hypocritical, you know? Especially when we're getting pissed off that the Mexicans are coming over legally and doing all the shitty jobs we don't want to do. You know, when we came over from Europe 200 plus years ago to get away from a shitty life there, again, America's being hypocritical. Now, if you come over to this country illegally, stealing our jobs, there's a difference. Okay? But where does discrimination and feminism end with decent moral values? Now, for example, let's say you're in high school and you're single. You know, that's typical, right? And you see a very cladly dressed girl your own age, just perfect, just bouncing in all the right places. And you're just like this, you know, you're a guy you can't help but stare because it's a natural human instinct for males to be attracted to females, right? And she gets pissed off and says, don't look at me, you sicko! Now, if you've been sexually harassing her for X amount of years, you know, that's one thing, you know, she has the right to say that. But all you're doing is looking at her when she shows like a skank to begin with, that's completely un un unlegit, you know? That's not cool, especially when she chooses to show off her body. She can't choose who, who can and can't look. She then turns around to the football player who's more popular than you and says, Oh, good game style, flipping her hand, eh, you know. And it wouldn't be ironic if the quarterback was gay. I had no interest in her whatsoever. Okay, my, my point being is that um, I'm off women having equal rights and all that. I think that's grand. That would show our country is maturing just a little bit, you know. But where does equal rights draw the line between equal rights and sheer bullshit insanity? Another example would be when the newscast lady who just, just like that, you know, in the football interview where she's dressed in tight jeans and a low-cut shirt goes into the men's locker room to do an interview. They're all trying to cover up, like, hey, well, what the fuck, you know? And they all, and the worst they did was give her a couple of cat calls, and she had the NFL suit for sexual harassment, which she, in fact, brought it upon herself. And the worst they did was a cat call. Um, especially when she's in the men's locker room, where it says men, not women, men. But I guarantee if it was the other way around, men would be a pervert. Oh, he's a pervert, you know. The same can be said when older women are dating younger men, cougars, if you will. Um... Like, you know, like, oh, that's so sweet. She's going for a younger guy. Oh, you know. And then if men were to turn around and date a younger woman, oh, he's a pervert, you know. I think that what's both disgusting, you, you know, maybe two, three years of age would be the limit for me, younger or older. I mean, younger. Okay, 18 is low as I'll go. I'm not dating someone under the age of 18. Fuck that shit, all right? But here's the thing. Um, Hugh Hefner, for, exa for example, just broke up with his... Divorced his wife. Apparently, he's not mature enough to handle marriage, and he's like what, eighty some thousand years old. Dating someone old enough to be his great great granddaughter. How fucking sick is that? I guarantee you, if it was my great grandfather, you all be thinking, oh, he's a sick bastard. But because you haven't has money, it's all good. It's the same thing for that fifty some year old who marries a sixteen year old who looks like she's twenty fucking years old. Bullshit. 
and the mother gave them consent to marry and have sex. I guarantee you, if it was my 50 year old grand grandfather, you'd be like, she'd be like, no, fuck you, that's disgusting, you know. But because he has money, it's okay. So again, where does the moral value of sexual, you know, sex, sexism and rights draw the line? Um, I'm all for women having equal rights, but some women, they take that too far. They just, they go overboard with it and they abuse, they abuse that, you know, and it's, it's horseshit. It really is, you know, and I'm kind of ashamed to say there, there are men out there who would do that. It makes me disgusted to be a man myself, you know, knowing that there are pigs out there who treat women like shit and treat them like eye candy. But not all men are like that. These extremist right-wing Republican women just go off pissy and hate men, you know. But, wait a minute, here's the thing. Not all men are like that. Not all men are sex as pigs. Okay, we have desires and sexual needs and all that, but that's perfectly natural. It doesn't mean we're pigs or any of that. Now, women want equal rights in the workforce. I'm all for that. But, when you you know, when you got a couple of guy friends while we're on the water cooler at work telling a disgusting, raunchy joke, and women want equal rights as men, so you want to be a part of that joke as well? Like, hearing it when you're trying to work, you know what I'm saying? So... You don't want equal rights. You want equal pay and equal value in the work society. You don't want the same rights as men, technically speaking. So again, it really comes down to is equal rights. Um, and I don't care what any hater is going to say. And it's just the fucking truth. Americans preach freedom of rights, freedom of this, freedom of that, and then it, then they turn on discriminating against women and homosexuals. It's extremely hypocritical. And a society that, that preaches freedom of this, freedom of that, and then they turn around and discriminate against certain individuals who want that freedom. And it kind of saddens me, too. So, and you know what? We're no different than anyone else out there. We have more freedom than most countries, but at the same time, we're just as fucked up as the rest of the world, you know, with war, poverty, hunger, and anger, and anarchy, and hypocrisy, and democracy, which is basically what it is. And I have to think, okay, this is kind of horse shit, you know? It really is. It just, yeah. And people say, well, pornography is just degrading, okay? But here's the thing. If you want to be in the porn industry, girls, you're allowed to. You have that right. Your body, your right, you know? You're not forced to do it. If you want to be a lawyer or a doctor, an empowerment, you know, for the feminist movement, go for it, you know? You go, girl. Girl power, you know what I'm saying? But... Don't look down upon women who do porn. Now, if they're forced to do it, it's sexist. But if they're not forced to do it, if they're choosing to do it, that's their choice. You know, they have that right. And people say nudity is not porn. It's porn. It's not. Okay, it's not porn. Now, people define nudity as um, porn because it invokes sexual thought. In fact, that is the U.S. definition of porn, anything that invokes sexual thought. Well, if a goat invokes sexual thought, let's make it porn and the, the person's a sick individual. Now, if you're at a funeral and you're staring at the body in the casket and you get a boner, does that mean it's porn? No, it means you're a necrophiliac in the closet. You need to come out of the casket, mister. You need to see yourself. For one thing, nudity does not depict sex. And in porn, there's sex. Like Playboy, for instance, is not pornographic because it just shows naked girls. That's it. And it's very tasteful and not disrespectful in any way whatsoever, shape, or form. And don't be jealous of Hugh Hefner, okay? He's got a great, he's got a shit ton of cash, girls to fuck left and right, and a huge ass mansion with a bunch of shit, okay? But some of these girls are just bimbos. I mean, they are not the smartest bunch. Um, you know, I'm not saying all of them are, because I read some of the articles in the Playboy magazine, and they say they want to be a veterinarian or a doctor. I think that's cool if they can post for Playboy look sexy against you know have a career in mind besides playboy that's really cool but hugh hefner it's basically a sophisticated prostitution he pays in the post naked and then he fucks them you know <laughs> now that'd be great to have for like about a day and then you probably get sick of it like uh because no, for a day you'd be like okay i want you 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 and you and you to fuck me and they'd be like okay and they had no choice it's kind of sad i feel bad for him actually but they get a shit ton of cash for it. So, like I said, it's sophisticated prostitution. Uh -huh. So, equal rights in the workforce. I'm all for it, you know. But you don't want to be the woman that's to hear the raunchy joke when the guys are on the water cooler telling a, a, a pig, like, you know, a, a very sexist pig joke, you know. You just want the equal pay and equal work value, okay. 
Or like when you're in a basketball game and they step you on the butt, yeah, good game. Psh, you don't want that, do you? You know. So again, it's not really that that much. You would you just want equal pay. And I'm all for that. You know, I don't think it's f fair that women are still treated like that. It's 2011. I mean, come on. We're still degrading as women and homosexuals. I think it's just asinine. You know. So I'm all for women having equal rights. I think that'd be great. But then again, I think men sometimes get the worst end of that deal too when women take it too far and abuse their power and their equal rights and all that to get what they want. Um, I think that's a bit unfair. And here's the thing. If she goes to the principal saying, so someone will quit looking at me and the principal goes, well, have you seen the way you dressed? I mean, come on. He's a guy. He's at a certain age where that's just going to turn him the fuck on, you know? The obvious, of course. And she goes to her mom, so-and-so, and so-and-so is sexually harassing me. She, and then they, they go to their their own feminist activist groups and whatnot, and the school gets sued for sexual harassment, loses a buttload of cash and budget cuts and shit. Because, and then the teachers lose salary cuts because the school has to pay for the lawsuit, all because the girl decided to dress like a skank and the wrong guy looked. It's extremely unfair. But at the same time, you gotta, you know, respect your wishes, you know. I know it's gonna say, well, how is that fair? She's just like a skank. Well, here's the thing. Okay. Just say fucking ignore it, because that's all you can do, you know. Women are starting to rule the world. It's a good, it's also kind of bad. You know, not all women do this, but some women take advantage of of that, and they make it into a poor me thing. He looked at me, even though I'm just like a skank, you know. Come on, that's just horseshit. It really is. You know? Especially when, you know, it's not 18 fucking ugh, 76, you know? Women have rights now. They have the right to vote. They have this, this, and that, you know? So there's a fine line between equal rights and bullshit. And when a girl gets pissed off at you for when you're looking and she's just like that, that's bullshit. So, think about that for a second. Because quite honestly, it is horseshit. It really is. Women take advantage of that, you know. And you're not supposed to hit women. That's not fair, okay. But women will hit you and beat you up, and no, you can't do shit. And then as soon as you defend yourself once, they throw you in jail for domestic abuse when she's had a history of beating you. And you show up to work next day with black eyes and shit. Like, Ooh, what happened? Oh yeah, my woman beat me and shit. Stand up for yourself. I can't hit women. That's bullshit. I hate women who do that. That's that's horseshit. And then you come on and you shove her off. Just say, fuck off. Okay, I'm sick of this shit. And then, he fucking shoved me. <laughs> and then you go to jail for being a woman. And then, of course, you're kicked, you're, you're asked to kick in jail. Because, you know what I find ironic about this is that these homicidal maniacs actually have some moral value in society. They're like, you fucked your child or you beat up a woman. I want to kick your ass and kill you in jail. It's like, well, you know what, douchebag, you killed somebody. That's no different. It's just as bad, if not worse. <laughs> You know? So, yeah, if you're a child molester, that's not good. Fuck that shit. That's nasty, dude. Fuck, fuck those pedophile faggots, man. Seriously. If you ever go to jail for that shit, pedophiles are the least liked people in jail. Oh, if you go to jail for necrophilia, oh, they don't give a shit. They're like, hey, welcome to the Club of Psychos. But if you go to jail for pe pedophile molestation and shit, you're getting your teeth knocked, all kinds of horrible shit. So, that kind of amuses me that um these cannibals and necrophiliacs and serial killers beat pedophiles up for being, you know, the sadistic when they're sadistic too. So it's kind of hypocritical. That's beside the point. I'm getting off topic. The point being is that um, women should have equal rights, but there's a fine line between equal rights and bullshit. Think about that for a second, okay? That comes up on a lot on debates and shit, you know? Uh, so moral values versus, um, you know, men deserve rights just as much as women, you know? For example... Did you know that auto insurance costs more for men than it does for girls? Because girls are more careful drivers than guys. Bullshit. Um, case in point, Paris Hilton, Lindsay Lohan, women, they drive recklessly. You know, I don't think it's really a sex thing because I know women to drive recklessly, recklessly just as much as men have. You know, I say we should lower auto insurance for both men and women so it's equal pay. I think that's kind of sexist. Oh, but it's not sexist because it's against guys. <laughs> what the fuck? Seriously. So according to whoever, it's like, it's sexist if, it, if it's against girls. What the fuck? It's sexist if, it, if it's against guys, too, you know? I don't think having a penis or having boobs should defy a person's rights, you know? Or well, if you're a transvestite, you know what I'm saying? That could be, I don't know how the fuck that works out in this fucked up society of ours. <laughs>
Anyway, I play guitar on my channel. I'm running out, I'm running out of time to play it with my guitar. Check out my channel for more guitar playing and see what you think. Until then, this is Gothic King Cove 2 on the video on Equal Rights. And I thank you for watching and have a pleasant evening. Peace. I'm a toddler. I'm a toddler. Are you ready to quit tobacco? Wyoming Quit Tobacco triples your chances. Twenty twenty what? B -b 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 bad, bad to the bone. Make the old one blush. Make an old woman squeal. A day I was born. This is gonna run white wonder. I said be careful of this one. Because he was b -b 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 bad, b -b 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 bad to the bone. Because I'm really not sure you're even jacking off right at this point. Why do you care how I jack off? Okay, like, Jesus Christ. China virus, which is incredibly racist. It's not racist. Being. It's all oh, okay. Okay. Okay, Leanne, calling it the China virus isn't racist? Fuck you. Fuck you. You wouldn't be saying that shit if the pandemic started in the United States and people were calling it the American virus. And started making jokes about how Americans are lazy and fat and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Do you have any idea what it's like to be an Asian and then to have everyone look at you like, you started this. You started this whole fucking pandemic with that goddamn bat. You have no idea what it's like. Wow, this bitch is dumb. How would it feel, though, if sincerely, as an American citizen, you know what I'm saying? That's what I ask myself is if the coronavirus pandemic had started in America, and people all around the world started calling it the American disease, I would be offended. As an American citizen, I would be offended. Put yourself in someone else's shoes for a chance. Okay. You brought up my PC warrior with that shit, dude. Mm, drink those often, do you? Drink those often, do you? <laughs> Not really. Whenever I'm in the mood or if I have the money. There's, there's been times I've had money to drink alcohol and I just didn't feel like it, you know? Well, fucking judgmental, this chick. Like, I've been judged and critiqued my entire life. Everyone... Well, I mean, I just called him a toddler, but hey, he's learning how to... Control this temp tantrums, I guess. Yeah, fuck you. Okay, fuck you. Oh, I just called him a toddler, but he's getting better at controlling his temper tantrums. Hmm. Okay, I have shorts on underneath. So hold up a second. Not showing anything, not showing anything. Okay, I got shorts on underneath. Look at that. You see that? You see that? If I'm a toddler. How come I'm not wearing a diaper, huh? Oh, wait, that's a little too far. Some adults have to wear them because of their bathroom issues. So I'm sorry about that. But I'm just saying, YouTube, like, that's this. So I know. I'm so good at guitar, it's a wonder I'm not swimming in pussy right now. I'm just saying. Now, 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 yeah. <laughs> interested i hate i may hate being single sometimes because i do create female companionship but <clears throat> when i see my friends go through shit like this it makes me glad i'm single again subways doesn't get much more goth than that <laughs>
stab someone in the eyeball. That's how sharp it is. But I have four electrics, two Q sticks, plus three Q sticks. I have four electrics and three Q sticks. One in my bedroom. See this? You see this shit? This is what Emily drew. It's going in the motherfucking trash. Cause it is trash. I need to grab my phone charger. Do you have any idea what it's like to be an Asian and then to have everyone look at you like you started this? You started this whole fucking pandemic with that goddamn bat. You have no idea what it's like. Wow, this bitch is dumb. How in relationships you gotta take turns. Hold on, I got Oh Asperger's. Oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit! That is too fucking funny. <laughs> Their criticisms and advice go unheard by the bad boy himself. <laughs> Holy shit, that's good.